This show is brought to you by Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash AwesomeCast. Welcome to Awesome Gaming, the show where we get geeky and talk video games and more with local nerds that play them. And sometimes the guys that make them. And we're here live in Pittsburgh, PA. You can see us. Actually, you can access us on awesomecast.net. Reach us by email at awesomecast at sorgatronmedia.com. You can reach out to us on Twitter with the hashtag awesomegaming at awesomecast and Facebook. Subscribe and rate us in your favorite podcatcher. Keep an eye on AwesomeCast.com for links to subscribe. Every Thursday, live.awesomecast.net at 7 p.m. Eastern and on Twitch is when you can see our beautiful faces and hear our beautiful voices. That's right. (laughs) That's right. We've been talking about it for a couple months now. And with all the gaming news, we want to be sure to get in as much as we can, so we create a new show to talk video games. So let us know on Twitter or Facebook what you would like to see from a Pittsburgh-based video game show that you don't get from any other show. I'll take it from here. Thank you <laughs> me for Awesome Cast. Uh, throw over to Chaja here. Awesome Cast. Patreon supporters, uh, Matt Weller Coffee Club. He is at Matt Weller. Matt, I'm sorry, Matt underscore Weller on Twitter. That's with one T. One T. M A T underscore Weller. W E L L E R. We have to get Twitter. that right because he has five dollars. Yeah, yeah. No, he 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 is paying the paying the bills. Um, the Mike Fedor Show at the uh, fan of the show level. He is at Mike Fedor Show. And that's it. <laughs> Apparently, that's all, right, all. That's it. You can support us, though, at uh, patreon.com slash awesomecast, just like at Matt Weller and at Mike Fedor Show do. Should, should we actually, can you know. Keep the lights on. Should we this actually the introduce on, ourselves here? This is the first It's show. next. It, read it's, is it next? <laughs> read the notes. Is it's it next. next? It's next. It's next. Go ahead, Rich. Could, introduce us. At the voice that you just heard yell at me over there was the one and only Chachi. From Chachi, Chachi says Chachi plays for kids and a whole bunch of other stuff, right? That's me. That's you. That's, That's you. That's me. Who am I? You are. Who am I? The Riz. The Riz. The Riz. The Riz. The E Riz. And Riz plays games. And, Don't forget that. I'm sorry. And Riz Don't plays Don't forget games. that. And Riz plays games. All and, right. So we introduced each other. You have to introduce yeah, you, yourself. You have, you have, we're out of people. You have to do it. We're out of people. That's it. I'm Chad the Shad. At Chad the Shad, and you can see me play games on my couch if you come to my front yard and look into my house. Yes, um, I, I which I've done. I haven't streamed <laughs> anything yet, but if you'd like to, I'll I'll p- put the blinds up and I, you can just watch. I've done it. That's, I've yeah. already been there. It's a good angle. You can yeah. see me and the TV. So yeah, I've been there. Yep, mm-hmm. it's good. I hope you wear pants. Uh, I do not. Some uh, it depends. It's well, a, it's not. a wild card. Yeah, yeah Chachi does yeah. not. I do uh, not. My neighbors are displeased. <laughs> I do not. I stand in the front yard, pantsless. I wear a yep. shirt because you know gut. But you just Winnie the Pooh it right there. Yeah. Winnie the Pooh it. Winnie the Pooh yeah. it right there. Yep. yep. Just, just all watching out. them play games. Ah, that's what you got to do. And the warmer weather's coming, so yeah, yeah, you got to. It's not going to be as cold. I know. Air it out. Air it out. Yeah. Let I'm it go. Spread eagle. I'm just... Not sure where we went. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. All right, now the introductions are <laughs> this done. Is, this is... <laughs> now that everybody knows who we are. <laughs> Why are we here? We're headed for where, 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 Wait, where? Where? What are you? Where? where what are you that? doing? <laughs> that is not in here. <laughs> I thought we're not going off the cuff this episode. Uh, oh, we we are off the cuff. Uh, off the cuff. Uh, off the cuff. Uh, we are off. Uh, so, anyways, it's May the fourth. It is May the fourth, which is Star Wars. Is May the fourth uh, be with wearing, you? Uh, there's my camera. There, there, there you are. My Star there you are. Shirt. I, I am not because I just came from work, but oh. eh. Oh, well, whatever. And it's hockey season, so Chad's wearing penguins. 
I have my pickle stabber yeah. shirt. Pickle yeah. stabbers. So, which is like a, a cactus or from Final Fantasy, maybe playing hockey. So, <laughs> works for today. But it is, uh, yes, May the fourth. Um, I don't know what the story is. Who put this here? That Who was me. Here? That was me. Okay, cover it. Then. Uh, then, well, when May the fourth was in, well, when we figured out we were going to start on May the fourth with the Star Wars in, stuff coming out, uh, I decided to just put in to the dock the Star Wars Battlefront trailer as well as all the information that we know so far. Uh, for instance, unlike the first one, this one is going to have the uh, the actual single player mode which makes it a whole lot better for some reason. I think it's mainly because the first one didn't have it and now it feels more like a whole, a whole game than it just goes like it, it, it anchors itself exactly. along the other Star Wars. Because now you can be part of the lore of the Star Wars universe, right. kind of sort of. You're not just having multiplayer death matches, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, and and sometimes you'll see you know Darth Vader come out and kill like five or ten people on the way yeah. to you, and then just and, destroy you. And this story is official canon. It is. Yeah. So is. now you are in the story. Yeah. Here's the thing. Oh. Um confession time oh i have yet to like a star wars game with the exception of two mm. which two? can um, we guess can we guess sure go ahead pod racers no i hate that game <laughs> i hate that Damn. game what about lego star wars i like That's lego one. star wars okay and lego star wars 2 it's the same it's, yeah. it's the same same game <laughs> he's not gonna get the semantics he's no. giving us yeah, yeah. Broad no strength. um lego star wars and force uh, the force awakens no. Force Unleashed. Force, Force Unleashed. Unleashed. Yeah. One, one and two, or yeah, I liked them both. Okay. I, mm-hmm. I like the story in those, and I think that's why I didn't like the first Battlefront game. Like I yeah. put it into install, and I've never played it. <laughs> I got so irritated mm-hmm. at how long it took to install, and the fact that all you can do during that time is fight stormtroopers. Yeah, um, I'm just like, yeah, I'm not, or no, you're Darth Vader fighting Rebel. So yeah, I was like, no, I'm done with this. Yeah, and walk away. Mm-hmm. It's all multi. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah that's the only thing I, because I, I, I was the one who pre-ordered that game and preloaded it for my PlayStation Four, and it took well, one, it took forever, and two, the best thing about like the best thing I liked about it was the one that nobody else played because it was just dogfights, like just just running, flying around space, shooting other things. And that was like, oh, I'm just going to do time waster now. Okay, I'm done. Now what? That was it. But now with this you know, single player coming in, I'm yeah. really interested in this game now. Yeah, I played the uh, the VR, the mm-hmm. X-Wing VR mission that mm-hmm. they have. I thought that was, that was pretty good. Um, so uh, that is going to be an interesting part if they do have some sort of VR mode included, which I'm sure they yeah. would. They wouldn't do that, that one-off if they didn't plan on like, doing more. Mm-hmm. Um, it actually did, it didn't make me as sick as some of the other ones. Like It was actually pretty immersive, and I enjoyed playing it. I thought it was, thought it was nice. So it was a little bit on the rails. Like It wasn't a free, free-flaming one, but mm-hmm. it was okay. It was like, like, I didn't bother that at all. Like It didn't bother me that it was. Mm-hmm. So hopefully they do something something more, little, some more VR missions and stuff. I thought that would be pretty cool to do. Do you have the VR? I do not. My friend does. Okay, but have, have you run across any other games in VR that make you ill or feel um, ill? The only one that has it has had any effect on me has been um, Journey. Okay. Journey messes me up. <laughs> like I try to soldier through it, mm-hmm. and I'm like, no, I ain't get sick. I'm, just, I'm good, tough, tough, toughing this yeah. out. And uh, boy, it lasted like twenty minutes, and then I'm like, okay, we're done. Right. Yeah. I, and the reason I ask is, uh, it takes us to gaming tip of the week. Uh, if you like Minecraft, but you <laughs> tend to get motion sickness, do not play VR Minecraft because you will blow chunks. <laughs> and that's huh. a helpful tip from here, from us here at uh, Awesome Gaming. We need like a yeah. little catchy uh, music and review for that one. Too. Yeah. 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 Get, get Are you taking that. notes? Like get a, on that. Like a now you know. Get on that. Yeah. Now, um, now, you, now you've unlocked. <laughs> you've unlocked. Yeah. Yeah. Something yeah. like that. Here. Yeah. 
There we go. Oh, there, there we go. go. There it's go. a one-off. Um, no, because uh, I, I recently upgraded my phone to the Edge, or the 8 Plus, and the Samsung G8 Plus. Right. Just get the Except name the, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Get no, the name right. Letters and numbers. Yeah. Um, and it came with uh, my pre-order bonus was uh, a Samsung VR with the or the Gear VR with the controller. Um, okay. And I previously had the VR, but I didn't have a controller for it. And then I, I bought a bundle that included uh, Esper, Esper Two, Minecraft, and another game that I already had. And in order to play Minecraft, you actually need a pro controller and not the little. Crash right. wand they give you right um so i bought one and it came yesterday so i plugged my phone in tried to play minecraft and lasted three and a half minutes cool. three and a half minutes and i'm just like i'm done i'm just gonna watch tv because oh yeah i can't do this anymore i wouldn't i wouldn't think that's a good vr game it's like, not it's it a is, horrible vr game <laughs> i mean I, i'm i'm not even too sure i like like minecraft to begin with mm-hmm. but if i used to, used to play it on VR, I would probably curl up in a ball somewhere because that just sounds horrible. Well, luckily, there's two modes in which you can play Minecraft through a mm-hmm. VR platform. Uh, you can do the immersive, which is all around you, all pixely, and will make you blow chunks. Oh. Or there's uh, the theater mode, right? Where they put you in a room and it's decked out like uh, it's. Yeah, like it's Minecraft. Just this, yeah, yeah gotcha. And then there's a giant screen, like uh, kind of like they do for. I don't know if you've seen the Netflix in VR, Riz. I think I have seen it. I'm not sure. If... It, it's just it's you just sitting like in a, a room, oh. watching a giant screen. It's right. kind of like you're in a theater sized huh. room. Yeah. But uh, and that's the other mode that you can play in. So luckily, I can do it that way mm-hmm. and not blow chunks. But that's it's funny because the only VR like. Um, a couple we we all went to my friend's house and we're all just mm-hmm. playing a bunch of different VR stuff because we're just you know with the PSVR, and I didn't have any problem with any of the driving games. Mm-hmm. Uh, some of my other friends did. Like we played one of the racing games. You know, your mirrors work. You can look behind you. It's it's full good. I had no problems with it. Other people got the car sick because they just <laughs> couldn't like their driving. It's like oh, and when I was out in California in December for PSX. I did Gran Turismo VR, mm. and uh, it was actually pretty nice. I, f- I had that one feeling, like I came up over a hill and took a turn, and I went, ooh, I don't know, I might get, and then it just like went back down, I'm like, oh, no, I'm cool. <laughs> like, But uh, it was pretty cool. Uh, for some reason, the demo track they had, they had you come up on a hairpin, mm. and the sun was in your eyes. Ooh. So mm-hmm. I asked the attendant, I was like, what button puts down the sun visor? <laughs> I was like, because I put my hand up. I'm like, well, that ain't going to work. <laughs> like, I was like, sun's in my eyes. That ain't going to work. But uh, uh, it was a good experience. I played a lot of VR out there, like um, a lot of different, I forget, the Eve the Eve ship game, I think I played. The shooter or uh, the, the flying? This flying one. Okay. It was crazy, but I didn't get sick, and it was it was pretty cool. Because we sat in a cockpit for that. Oh, nice. And then uh, there's a couple little ones, like uh, the 2K Sports one was really cool, really, mm-hmm. really well done. Um, is, that the basket, the, is that the one with the basketball one? Or yeah, the yeah. trick shot one. Yeah. It was actually pretty cool. It made you actually feel like there's a crowd around you because with the headphones and everything. Right. And then um, Dino Frontier that comes out hmm. later this year is really cool. And it was the only sh- only one on the whole show that we all played. And it was like, I could sit on a Sunday afternoon and waste like eight hours and not realize it playing that game. Mm-hmm. Right. Because it's like you you can pull the map closer and you pick up and drop these little guys and they ride dinosaurs and you it's like, you know, Warcraft 2, get resources, do this, upgrade this. And like, just it felt so natural to zoom in and you can get, bring it right up to your face and look get high detail and kick it back out. and It's like a more submersive uh, arc. I think that's what it's called. The video game arc. Uh, yeah. But less multiplayer and more. Yeah. It was kind of like real time strategy. Kind of. But it, it was, <clears throat> it was really cool. But Two VR. Oh, VR no, I good. thought you were done. Yeah. No, no. Okay. VR was the VR was yeah. solid out there. Two fun facts. One, the first thing I'm buying after the wedding, when I'm allowed to make a big purchase is right. the PlayStation VR. Yeah. And two, the only reason I want a real VR system at this point in time is for job simulator. Yeah. Job simulator is great. I know. Yeah. That's great. I, it's I, awesome. We played it at a looking for group 
in Brookline. Yeah. And yeah, it was by far the best thing I played in VR. It was incredible. That's the only that's the only game I know of right now that I mm-hmm. want to play with. Yeah, it's it's real good. Yeah. We played some Resident Evil Seven. Oh, I can't in yeah. VR. I, and uh, it, it no, I can't. <laughs> It was rough. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> no, um, not rough to play. Just rough on my psyche. Like, <laughs> right. Oh god, I, I, I can't remember the name of it right now. But when I got the first Samsung Gear VR, mm-hmm. um, one of the games that was free, um, uh, or I got a deal, um, and I can't remember the name of it right now, was some kind of like uh, jump scare game. I made it three minutes into the game. Fun fact: <laughs> three minutes is how long the intro is. Yeah. Oh no. And it starts with you by yourself in a car driving down the desert. And then you start having hallucinations. Because it gets to the part where you start repeating, or your character starts repeating the same line in the script. And you're like, all right, so there's obviously something I'm supposed to be doing right now that I haven't figured out yet. And I look, I look around, and I look to my left, and there's something sitting in my seat. Scared to crap out of me. I'm like, I'm done. <laughs> horror, jump scare, horror games in VR are not for me. Yeah, I will, Resident I will die. Resident Evil gets in there real, yeah, real tight. Yeah, yeah. I saw, I saw the one scene in Resident Evil. I didn't even have my headset on. I didn't have a headset. I didn't have anything. I just watched it on YouTube, and just that one scene of the hacksaw to the arm, or no, oh, the yeah. chainsaw to the arm. Was like no, I don't want to play this game. Yeah, like, no, I don't want to. Yeah. I want to do it. It's I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I'm, it's I'm done. Jump scares, but no. but drop simulator is great. <laughs> yeah, think I, of the, mm-hmm. all, all the other ones I've, I have played with VR, mm-hmm. the PSVR, uh, drop simulator. Uh, what was played? Uh, Batman. Batman was real good. I, I'll mm-hmm. play Batman because it's, it's Batman. It's Batman. Yeah. Short, but mm-hmm. but good. Um, I can't really think of any other ones right now but we've messed around and play a lot different mm-hmm. shooting games and stuff mm-hmm. it's fun the pps vr is for its price and the amount of stuff you can do it's it's, it's really good and it's comfortable too it's nice it, to wear it's it not, looks comfortable yeah it's it's nice yeah uh, it came out probably a month after i got my ps4 um because i'm a recent convert yes um I, we welcome yeah. you. I uh, I switched yes, for welcome. No Man's Sky. Yes, and <laughs> that was it. Was a matter of I didn't know that game was coming out uh-huh. because I didn't pay attention to PlayStation at the yeah. time because it's all Xbox. And then I saw the that game and went home that night and thought about it, and then tried to buy just flat out buy a PS4 in No Man's Sky uh, downtown where I work. And they didn't have any. Yeah. And so I ended up going to the GameStop by my house, which meant I went home, I packed up all of my Xbox One stuff, <laughs> and just got in the car and drove to GameStop. It was like an hour after I got home. And yeah, never looked back. Mm-mm. I missed my achievement points, but that's about it. Yeah. You can get more achievement points. I have been. <laughs> I'm currently trying to round out my No Man's Sky. Mm-hmm. So I have, like, I think five trophies from a Platinum. <laughs> so I'm playing casually you have to enjoy it right that, that game got a lot of flack but yeah and it's not bad it's just <laughs> something i can't put eight hours of time playing no right? it's very different yeah very um different. and it took me a while to figure out how to use a warp yeah <laughs> like the first time i put it in didn't realize there's a warp button so i was waiting real time <laughs> to get places <laughs> it was like oh this moves eight minutes like, away <laughs> yeah they're like it's eight minutes away. You're yeah. running. That planet's 35 minutes away. Yeah. Well, and you're running out of oxygen. What are you yeah. going to do now? Right. I'm just like, uh, where's a rubber band so I can hold this button down? Yeah. And I'll come back in seven minutes and see where I am at. The but. the updates have been wonderful for that game, though. Mm-hmm. Like, with mm-hmm. the, the land. What, I forget what they call it. The, uh, the land, the nomad car, and the other one. And they got a big, the big Colossus thing. And mm-hmm. that and base building and everything it's really good now like oh, just, i'll have to go back to it just yeah. mess. it reminds me like i've never played minecraft in any real capacity mm-hmm. but i guess the correlation would be that would kind of be like minecraft mm-hmm. building bases you can build farm stuff inside your bases and it's it's pretty cool i'll have to go back to it it's pretty cool that's what i've been messing with recently just mm-hmm. funny you brought it up <laughs> 
I've gone back. I was finished. I finished. What did I just? Oh, Neo. I played Neo mm-hmm. and I platinumed it because I was like, oh, that game's hard. <laughs> so I just buckled down, got that. I'm waiting for the DLCs, but now I'm just kind of in between. So I went back to No Man's Sky for a little bit. I think the last new game I played was Watch Dogs 2. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I, I've just been messing around with the stuff I had on Xbox. Yeah, I have a back cool. catalog of like. Yeah ridiculous amount of games that I just need to go back and finish and right. clean up and so if I may make a suggestion for both of you guys. Go ahead. Uh it's actually on my one I only have one awesome thing on there for the for my gaming part. Uh if you guys want a game that it's amazing, Chaji, you've you've very you've taken my advice multiple times. I have. And you've liked multiple things I've liked. I have. But you also didn't like some things, but that's okay. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it's called Flint Hook. Uh, it's it's a two D scroller map game, like a map. The, the, the maps differ every time you play it, and it's an uh, interesting concept of you know having the hook and having the, having the sky hook to hook everything up, doing all this, do, doing all these little puzzles, making sure everything's good. And fighting the boss at the end, uh, it's it's very 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 addicting. Hmm. So I think you guys would love this. And there there it is, like it, it's it's like it, the music is great. It brings you into it in the, in there, and it's just so much fun to play. And as you see, I'm I'm not that good. Yeah, it looks very yeah. Uh, classical. Yeah, it's a it's a very eight bitty game with eight bit like graphics. Well, not really eight bit. Like it has all the graphics, has the music, has everything you need for a retro style game. Yeah, and it's just amazing how it, this looks in 2017. Yeah, just, I always thought that when I saw Cuphead, the, oh, yeah, X, yeah, the yeah, yeah, Xbox, yeah, yeah. the 2D side scroller, mm-hmm. I was like, why are not why aren't we making a lot of games look like that? Mm-hmm. It looks exactly like a cartoon. Right. Like yeah. we should have the graphical capabilities to make a side. 2D side scroll look exactly like a show. Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, we have how when many. When I saw it, I was like, finally, yeah. finally. Yeah. Someone, someone got it. It's like we have how many realistic war games out there now? Yeah. Like Battle, Battlefield, Call of Duty, stuff like that. And it's just. And I thought Nino Cooney did a good job with uh, mm-hmm. the cartoon cell shaded type. Like it pulled off a really good looking game, too. Yeah. But... but that's the game I've been playing on, uh, on Twitch whenever I'm just bored with playing baseball sports ball sports ball yeah sports and stuff yeah but here, here they're playing right now for for the viewers of the uh of cuphead oh yes cuphead yeah i have not played it's played this yet though and is it is it just it's still, still not for, out yet is it, right is it still for xbox? i believe it's still just for xbox right no. now yes but Look it that. looks that's, great that's amazing that's amazing color. It feels just like a like, like a seventies yeah. cartoon. That's the gameplay. It looks fantastic. Yeah. So, All right. So interesting. Because I've taken up most of the discussion yeah, we have, with random topics that don't <laughs> we, we really have, matter. We have Let's drawn away some from news. We've drawn away news. from our uh, yes, our Star Wars. Right, Riz, talk, by the way, you yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> I moved, I tried to move us on, and then we got to another yeah, uh, another little world tangent hole of discussion mm-hmm. but uh let's uh you put a couple of things in here Riz. i did um the first one i want to talk about is uh i'm kind of a big sports guy as i just mentioned playing you know major league baseball 17 the show uh but the nfl draft happened if you guys are familiar with that uh and one of their the one of the players that i believe got drafted in the first round decided to is going to spend his money, his his draft money, on a gaming PC. And and this is this is going way the ways of like I know uh, Kyle Long, one of the players. Kyle Long, one of the, another player, is doing. Uh, I believe there's like two other ones that are doing Twitch streams with it. So I, I this is amazing having people like that I. I kind of blanked on his name. I, I'm sorry. My in my thing is my phone isn't really picking it up, so I can't really tell. Uh, it's not really doing this, but 
I forget what his name is. I'm trying to figure out what his name is, but anyways, uh, Jonathan Allen, who was picked by the Washington Redskins, uh, he he's he, like I said, he's going to use his uh, his gaming his money to buy a gaming computer. So that's just a that's just weird a weird story that I like to find. Just having a guy who you think is a jock is now doing gaming stuff. Yeah, number one thing he wants to do. Yeah. Number one now, thing. Now not, that I got that money. Yeah. Not buy yeah. a car, not buy a house for his mom. Yeah. Just yeah. buy a gaming computer. Well, yeah. now that his job not? is to work out. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't have to work out, study, and work. So now he goes to work, he works out. Then he has all of his time to do yeah. whatever he needs to do. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, uh, Nintendo is predicting that the Switch can outsell the Wii U in its first year. Mm-hmm. Um, in a news report that announced that their operating profit of is uh, $1.6 billion for the last quarter. How close are you guys buying one? Um, can I actually buy one yet? Yeah. No, I mean, oh. if I go to the store... Is it there? Oh, it should. I'm pretty sure they're restocked now. Well, it doesn't matter because it's uh, <laughs> VR and uh-huh. then Switch. Switch. VR yeah. and then Switch. Yeah. Um, but uh, it, yeah, it's uh, $1.6 billion for the last quarter, um, which is around the same level uh, from the, the quarter before that. And it's uh, almost a billion dollars more than the same quarter in 2016, where they reported a profit of 701 million dollars um you probably think zelda uh yes yeah. you, you can all think of it. you can think uh zelda um pokemon go and uh fire emblem which uh they're saying was downloaded only a tenth of the amount of times that super mario run was downloaded oh. but makes more in in-app purchases yeah um Says a richer fan base. Yeah. Well, yeah. no. Um, not a richer, but a... no. It's not even that. Uh, more fanatic. Fire, fi- no, Fire Emblem has more in-app purchases mm-hmm. um, because of the characters that you can buy. Right. In uh, Mario, you can only really buy like the the pack to or yeah. the, the level pack. So yeah, I mean that's one ten dollar for yeah. whoever downloads it and wants it, and then you move on. Right, right. Um, you have more things to buy. Right, in farm. Um, but options. they're saying that there have that they have sold two point seven six million copies of Zelda, which is more than Switches. Hmm. Yeah. Now they did. Is that counting Wii U versions? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. that, that's, that's probably why. Um, there's that. That's an aspect of the reason why, as well as um, there are people who are actually buying multiple versions of the game for the same console um, because of the different varieties of uh, game packages that you can get. Right. right. Um, I know I read a story where a person, or a review on, I want to say Amazon, where the person bought a. Uh, American version, and then they bought the European version because they wanted something that came in the European version. Right. Hmm. So, yeah, and that's a fun. That's a fun. Yeah, yeah fun. That's, that's yeah. fun. Good bit. Very fun. Of information. I think Sony just put out their numbers for their their PS4 sales. Hmm. They're at sixty million. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think that's what they said. Everyone. That I mean, it's forty. A- yeah. Fourth, yeah, fourth, fifth year to cycle, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. so, but they were, uh, I think they were predicting eighty by year's end, something <laughs> like that, which is crazy. Still, yeah, still more mm-hmm. than anyone should be buying. Yeah, because if yeah. you don't have a PS4 by now, you're probably not getting one. Yeah, it like it's it's pretty crazy how right. like how successful the PS4 has has been for them. Right after that little bit of a stumble with the PS3, which oh. PS3 still sold fairly well. Right. Well, you have fanatics. Uh, mm-hmm. I'll be the first to admit that I bought an Xbox One because I had an Xbox 360. Yeah. But clearly, the PS4 is a better console. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, all right. Um, here's a fun one. Uh, two days ago, all not all, most of the uh, convenience store clerk NPCs 
in Grand Theft Auto Online went missing. Oh. They were gone. There, oh. uh, there was a glitch in Grand Theft Auto Online that lasted 12 hours where most of the store clerks just disappeared. So you couldn't do anything <laughs> involving mm. the convenience store. Um, you couldn't create a new you, you couldn't start a new account slash character in Grand Theft Auto because yeah. you couldn't complete the the intro Get mission. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and any any missions that you had involving robbing stores, you couldn't do. Right. Huh. So the the GTA world does have like a I don't want to work day. Yeah. Apparently, Everybody just stayed yeah, down. Apparently, much, um, they like, were on strike. There was or there's a was there a march in downtown Los Santos? <laughs> no, it, uh, it does not all say. the all the clerks just you know what today we're closed. <laughs> yeah, um, the the author of the article says they drove around to half a dozen a dozen stores and tried to rob them and there was no one there to rob. Huh. I, I like how this one guy in this GIF goes in and just walks right back out. <laughs> it's like uh, uh, okay, bye. <laughs> That's probably, it. The old Grandpa just, Simpson. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> Time to go. Like they probably saw this guy thinking he's going to rob the bank and or rob the convenience store and just yeah. walked out, or he was going to rob it and then just decided not to go. Yeah. No, yeah. it's funny that you you have to have the clerk there in order to rob the store. Right. Like you can't go behind him and come on, smile. No. <laughs> I'll just take care of this myself. Yep. Nope. Can't uh, do it. There's a very specific order in GTA Online. Yeah. Where you. If you're not qualified, you cannot operate no. the cash register. That's right. That's all there is to it. Um, you That's have a funny to have story. a qualified professional behind the counter to operate the, the cash register, mm-hmm. or you're not getting anything. So, yeah. A lot of my friends recently got a, a bunch of money for signing on the GTA Online, hmm. and they couldn't, couldn't figure out what it was because it was various amounts. Right. And they were trying to figure out if it was that they had that tax refund thing. Oh. Mm-hmm. But it, that wasn't it. Since people were getting like 1.2 million, like 4 million, 7 million, <laughs> like a couple, like 400,000. And uh, we actually figured out what it was is everything that they made free now with the new update mm-hmm. that you may have paid for in the past, you uh, got that money back. Nice. So if you spent 1.5 million on a tank or mm-hmm. on a helicopter or something, and now it's free for everybody. They just gave your one point five million back to you. Oh. They're like, "Nah, it's free now. So here's here's That's your money. Kick it back to you. Go spend spend it on shirts or something because they're good ridiculously out." Yeah. That's that's nice. Of yeah. That. yeah. Uh, I, every time you said that, I, I thought of that um, African drug lord uh, joke. You, uh, the, the video that you you show, you shared with us a while ago, where it's like, "You want the money." No, you don't remember that. Don't remember <laughs> you don't remember that. the. You don't remember the money glitch. No, oh, Chachi. The GTA money glitch. Yeah, the GTA money when it glitch first came out. I don't know. No, I don't remember. No, that. no. where the guy just came out in his underwear. No, I don't. No, <laughs> I'm gonna look it up now. Yeah, now you're gonna look like it up. I should remember that because I remember you I re- specifically I remember, showing me that. I remember YouTube videos from ten years ago, and I can't mm. remember that. So I, I will show you that again. Uh, I'll never that was, watch it. There was a story. My friends still have money from this. Um, remember back when GTA Online first got announced and people were getting like millions mm-hmm. through that bug or whatever? They yeah. were just, well, they're hanging out in a strip club in the game world. And the two of them and their other other friend signs off. And it's just them two like, well, we're just messing around. Guy comes up to him and is like, hey, here's some money. And gave them both $80 million. <laughs> Please. And they were okay. like, "What? What is this?" And he's like, "Nah, just you know, paying it forward." Wow. And then the guy like signed off. They're like, "Is this real?" We got eighty. Like he gave us the money, and they looked. They're like, "Yeah, we got it." And then my one, the one friend was like, "I gotta spend all this before they think I stole it." <laughs> so he just went on a spending spree. He was buying everything. The other one kept it. Like, I want to see. Like, I got. I didn't do anything wrong to get this right. money. Mm-hmm. It's been laundered to me now. <laughs> He still he still has a good bit of that in his account, just like because he just bought stuff. Well, yeah. He's like, well, I could literally buy anything I wanted as soon as this guy gave me eighty million. Right. The third friend who left didn't get Jack signed back <laughs> in and saw these guys with penthouses <laughs> and all these rich cars. He goes, "How the hell did you guys get that?" Like, well, funny story. <laughs> guy at a strip club gave us eighty million a piece right after you signed off. 
<laughs> you left, he showed up. Here, have this money. <laughs> yeah, that's what they said. As yeah. soon as he signed off, he goes, okay, guys, uh, here's Here. some free money. Just making it rain on you. Funny story. It's well, real funny. Speaking of online scams, and it's not really a scam, but it ties into the story. Um, uh, the creators of EVE Online have announced that they're not responsible for in-game scams. Huh. And they're 100% legal. What? Uh, because of the way the game policy is, and uh, scams involving the stealing of in-game money or goods are completely legal in EVE Online. If anything, they're encouraged by the game's dog-eat-dog -dog world mentality. Hmm. That's why so, I don't play EVE. Yeah. If you're, if you're, uh, I wouldn't have a laptop anymore. I would throw it out the window. <laughs> right. If you're smart enough, or on the other side, dumb enough to convince someone to give you all of their stuff, it's yours, mm -hmm. and oh. they're not going to do anything about it. Oh, I have seen where they have like those ship days where they go into the one city mm -hmm. that's all all NPC. Yeah, and they have like hundreds of thousands of people just yeah go lawless. But yeah, this the purge says, uh, happens. Right yeah, there. they're like, well, the game guys are like, well, hey, you can do it, so we're not gonna stop you. It's just something you can do in the game. Yeah, it says. That sorry I'm... if you're a shipper, if you're shipping stuff. Sorry, <laughs> you're gonna have a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> like those pirates are gonna, you know, they're gonna jam you up. Tomorrow be okay. Today, not so much. Yeah, it, uh, the rules flat out state that anything you can do. Almost anything that you can do in game is 100% the way the game was supposed to be made. Mm -hmm. So you can run full on um, con games, yeah, or just hope that someone misplaces a decimal point. Right. So yeah, that was interesting. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. that's really that whole game is really interesting. The stuff you can do. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, and our last story. Um, and this is just to touch on it rather quickly. But uh, on my way over here, I received an email. Um, so if you are playing Pokemon Go still, a Pokemon Grass uh, event starts tomorrow and runs through the 8th. So uh, po uh, Grass Pokemon will be more pre prevalent in the game, making it easier to catch those Bulbasaur that you need to evolve to its final form and your efforts to... Complete the first 150 Pokemon that you've been working on the entire time that it happened, <laughs> has been happening. Um, yeah, so uh, they will be out and about starting tomorrow through the 8th. Oh, nice. Before they go back into their normal patterns. Mm -hmm. So, that'll be fun. If you are, if you're, if, if. if you're into that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like how the two people who have the pokemon go pros on their arms right now just just linked up like they were in the nation of domination and well, just yeah, held it, their arms a, up like yes. that that's it that's it's it a cult. Yeah. it's a cult it's a cult it's a cult that's yeah. it i mean either either you're into the game enough to actually have the device or you're not yeah so, nothing wrong with that yeah yeah you got stuff to do right yeah might as well i can catch Three times as many Pokemon as you can. You gotta catch them all. You do have that's to catch the, them that's all. The, that's the rule yeah. of the game. Right. You have to catch them all. And some people are more dedicated than others when it comes to catching them all. Like me. Yeah. I want to be the very best. <laughs> <laughs> like no one ever was. See? That's it. That's all you have to do, sir. All right. And I think that does it for us this week. Mm -hmm. What's your oh, I oh. forgot the playing. I forgot <laughs> what we're good, playing. Good job. Good job. I'm sorry. Chad, what are you playing? What am I playing? Yeah, currently. Currently, right now. Well, not um, right now. <laughs> not well, now, not but, right now. Yeah. Uh, as I stated a little earlier, I'm trying to slowly just enjoy No Man's Sky when <laughs> I get a chance here and there. Uh, I do know the new Neo uh, DLC is dropping later this month, uh, so I will be playing that. And then, um, yeah, that's about that's about all I'm playing, right? I played some GTA Online. Awesome. Recently got back into that a little bit, but besides that, yeah, that's what I'm playing. Nice. Riz, nice. what are you playing? I am playing, again, like I said before, the, the Flint Hook, which is an awesome game. Uh, and also, I'm still trying to get an Overwatch and 
still trying to, you know, do some stuff there. Trying to get back into it. I think whenever they see that I'm still level, like, 20 when the game has been out for the last year or two. And there's, like, level 59s and level 90s. And, like, I'm like, I don't want I don't want to be here. I'm, I'm, I'm not good at this. And then I realized that they're not good either. They're just there forever. And they just, you know, do things. Uh, but it's, it's still a doable game to play. I do I do enjoy that as a little time waster. But other than that, that's all I've been playing, really. Chachi. Uh, I've been uh, dancing Let around. me ask the question. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> yes, Riz. I mean... Just, you asked everybody else the question. You That's, true. Yeah, That's I, true. I guess I have to ask you. Yeah, fair enough. What are you playing? Um, well, I've been... Uh, thank you for asking, Riz. You are welcome. I, I've been bouncing around uh, a lot of games because there's not, there's not just one game that I'm currently playing um, right now. So um, I've been uh, playing the VR games that don't make me sick. <laughs> um, Esper. There's a, a SWAT training game I've been playing. Um Deer Hunter, which kind of sucks in VR, just because it's a it's a mm-hmm. look at and then touch type game, not like a controller based game or anything. Um, I say Esper. You said Esper. 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 Um, Esper. Which is a it's kind of like a portal type game, but uh, you are captured in a organization that is run by the government that picks up people that have uh, telepathic abilities. Mm. And then you uh, have to help catch the, the strongest one that was there and then escaped. So they take you all the world solving puzzles and crap with your mind. Mm. Um, and then uh, on PS4, I've been playing um, MLB, the show Madden and need for speed rivals. In mm-hmm. case you're curious. Because gotcha. it's the only world in which you can ride, you can drive a police car that is also a Lamborghini. Oh, so yeah, that's acceptable. Yeah, because that police force has enough money to provide people with whatever why car they want. <laughs> yeah. Why? So, why the heck not? Right. It's yeah. it is weird to see a Lamborghini with uh, police lights on the roof. So yeah, <laughs> I would give them that. Yeah. <laughs> um. But yeah, that's that's what I'm playing. All right. Um. What is the game this week? What is the game this week? Uh, as part of the show, we will be uh, live streaming us playing a game yes. every once in a while, every week. And that's just Chachi there. That is me that's just trying Chachi. to figure out. That's just it's Chachi, Chachi me looking at looking Chachi. Me. It's VR. Looking at me, yeah. What are we playing this week? <laughs> what are we playing this week? What are we playing this week? Star Wars games. Uh, Star Wars. We, uh, that's fitting. Um, <laughs> as it's May the 5th, we will be playing May Star Wars. <laughs> what? As it's May the 4th. <laughs> as it's May the 5th? No, did I say 5th? Oh, I meant fourth. I'm sorry. I'm thinking to tomorrow. <laughs> like as it's <laughs> yeah. May at the as, as May the we will sixth, be. <laughs> we'll be doing other things um, besides. No, video games. we will. Uh, we will be playing a Star Wars type game. Ooh. I'm not sure which one though. Um, we have. Uh, we actually have uh, loaded up uh, uh, Star Wars games for the Super Nintendo and the Nintendo Entertainment System. Oh, that we playing. Uh, we're on Facebook Live this week, so if you uh, catch us later. Check out the main feed on the Awesome Cast Facebook Live. And uh, we are also going to be uh, hopefully going to Twitch here as soon as we get that stuff figured out. And uh, stay tuned uh, for, when, for when we're going to do our next beta episode before we go weekly here. All right. Nice. Okay. So we are done. Hey, hey can we? <laughs> um, <laughs> wait, 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 yes, where, where can they find us? They can find us on at awesomecast.net. You can email us at awesomecast at sorgatronmedia.com. We are on Twitter at awesomecast. Hashtag awesome gaming. You can find us on Facebook as awesomecast. Uh, remember to subscribe to us or awesomecast.com in your favorite podcatcher. And hopefully, if we're not booted already, you can catch us live <laughs> every Thursday at live.awesomecast.net yes. at or around 7 p.m. Mm-hmm. And also on Twitch. I'm Chachi at Chachi Says for at Chad the Shad and at the E Riz. And Riz Plays Games. R- forgot Riz Plays Games. And forgot Riz Plays Games. At Riz Plays Games. Thank you for joining us for Awesome Gaming. And we'll see you next week. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
game. Yeah. <laughs> This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.